All right, so here we are. This is my very first video lesson and uh, live, live on YouTube, and I'm really excited to be here. So I hope you can hear me good and uh, and uh, maybe give me a like to to let me know if everything is good and if you can um, see me. Okay. So hey, John and uh, ciao Marco, uh, ciao Mauro. Um, so today we want to learn how to play the backup for for Cherokee Shuffle and um, I got a request for for this uh, last week I uploaded the, the backing track for Cherokee Shuffle and somebody was going like uh, told me sent me an email and said why don't you make a, a short lesson and uh, you explain what you're doing what you're playing so so here we are and first of all, let me show you the chord chart that I'm going to use. So maybe you want to screenshot this. So as you see, we have capo at the second fret. And so we're playing out of G position. And that's the way I usually play Cherokee Shuffle. And um, so we are here in G position and, uh, and the Cherokee Shuffle uh, goes like this. kind of what we are gonna learn and uh, what we want to play today and uh, and so first uh, and first of all I want to explain what I'm doing and of course if you have a question or or maybe yeah just uh, I can uh, read uh, the, your comments so so write a comment and let me know if you have a question but uh, for now so we're in the key of G and uh, the A part is we have three bars, three bars of G and then we go to E minor, okay, so one, two, three, and E minor. And I usually like to play a, a quick, a, an F sharp connecting the G to the E minor, like this. So can you... Now, so as you see, I'm doing a bass drum, bass drum, bass drum, bass drum, and here I go bass drum, bass drum, and then E minor. One more time. I hope you have your guitars, your, your guitar, right, and you're playing with me. So because I think that that's the best way of doing this. So again... All right, now when, when you play that G, that F sharp, I'm still holding my G here, all right? So like this. This is simple, right? And um, you can also, if you want, you, when you play the F sharp, you can play a D chord here, uh, like this. But me, I, I prefer to just play the F sharp and I keep the G chord here. So it's just a matter of what you prefer to do. If I play the F sharp, I and then the D chord, I, then I, I use my thumb here. So bo both ways are good. And, and, then, and then here over the, a, uh, the E minor, I like to do this. That's an option that you have. See, this is just a hammer on. 
Okay, so second bass, first bass, drum, second bass, hammer on. This is five, the fifth string, right middle finger. Okay, so let's go from the top. Alright, and now I'm doing that because I'm I'm creating a little line with with my bass with my basses here. The next chord will be C and then G and D. Uh, and this is what I like to do. So So it's kind of like a melody here that is going on, right? From the top. Something like that. So again, I'm playing E minor, hammer on. Then I play my C chord, first bass. And then my second bass will be the fourth string. And then I go to the G chord, and here I play the fourth string again. again. And then I play the fifth string. Okay, so. It's a little melody, right? All right, so again, E minor, hammer on, C, E, D string, that's a B note. You have it? One more time. We were ready to go to the D chord and we do a quick slide from the third fret to the fourth fret. So that's a C, C sharp using the middle finger. No picture. What, what do you mean, no picture? I hope you can see me, right? So, so I said that uh, right after the, the G chord, so the G chord is going to be fourth string and the B without the strum and instead of strumming right after the B note we play a slide C C sharp okay and then open D and we're back to G so one more time from the very very top Again? Yes, let's do it again, a little bit slower, everybody. Okay, I think that, that, that's what I like to play on the, on the A part. And by the way, uh, since we have those G chords, right, at the very beginning we have three bars. So there you can play this little hammer-on from the F sharp to the G. And, uh, and again here I'm doing bass, drum and the second bass, instead of, instead of the fourth string I play F sharp hammer-on. And then I strum again. So bass, strum, bass, strum. This is a very, very common little ornament, I don't know how to call it, uh, to play over the G chord. Okay? Actually, actually, I, I, uh, okay. Actually, we 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 want to do this 
we want to do this uh, over the first bass, not the second bass. I'm sorry for the mistake. So it's going to be strum, second bass. So the hammer on is taking the place of the G. Instead of just playing the G note here, we play a hammer on from F sharp to G. And then we strum. So again, this is first beat, second beat, third beat, and the fourth beat. Hey. Okay, so that, that's the first part. One more time from the very, very top, the A part of Cherokee Shuffle. So, and by the way, if you, if you want to stay, um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and, um, and you hit the bell so you, you'll be notified every time I post a new video or when I, when I go live again. Uh, I'm planning to do this more and so in the future. So, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so Cherokee Shuffle again from the very, very top. One, two, three, four. One more time. I think now we are ready to play the, the B part, right? The B part starts off with a C chord. And we have three times, we have the three times we go from C to G for three times. Okay, so now uh, here I like to, okay, when we play the C and the G chord, sometimes I like to play to slide into the G chord like this. See what I'm doing? Playing the C chord and then I slide from F sharp to G. So this is very very similar to what we just did, right? Here we are playing the hammer on with the index and the middle finger. Here we are sliding, playing the same two notes, but this time we slide. And I like to do that, so not always, but sometimes it, it is a nice variation that you can use whenever you go from C to G. Okay, and um, something else that you can do whenever you have a G that goes to a C chord. G is the dominant chord for C chord, so you can play a G7. And uh, one option, one G7 is this, with my ring finger here on the fourth string, thir um, third fret. That's an F note, right? So now that's a G7. And, um, and uh, so you can play something like this. using that kind of rhythm. Again, let me do it again. Uh, this is cool, right? I'm playing just a... All right, so that F, F is on the up beat, okay? It's bass, drum, and then on the up beat I play and I, I just, I'm not playing exactly the F, the, the single string, I'm just strumming a couple of strings here when I play that upstroke. So you see my finger, my ring finger is here on the second string, right? And it goes, it just goes move over to the fourth string. Very, very simple. I'm not lifting the middle, I'm not lifting the pinky, just moving this over, over the, over the fourth string. So again, bass, that's the real bass, down, up, down, 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 up, down. 
down. So let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Again, slower. One, two, three, four. And then when you play the C chord, when you land on the C chord, you you either play the bass drum as usual, or you can strum strum the C chord the, on the first beat like this. All right, and then the second beat will be another strum, and then you go back to the bass drum, bass drum. So it sounds like this. Let's say this is the the B part, okay? And then we go to E minor. One more time. Sounds good, right? I like it. I like it. So right after that. So what else can we do on the B part? Well, you know, then we have the E minor and, and we can play the same F sharp that we did in the A part. Uh, or we just, or, or we can play, we can play this short bass run that goes, so like this. doing here while well, I'm just playing the G, bass, strum, open D, D sharp, index finger, and then E. When I play the, the E note, I put the, the E minor down. Okay, so that's an option. That's one option, that's something you can do, or you just go to E minor and uh, you do the same run just backward to connect the E minor to the D chord. So like this. That's another option that you have. So again the B part. Here I'm playing the bass, the strum, and then bass run. And that is E, E flat, and E, right? E flat with my middle finger, and then open D, and that's my that's the D, the bass for the D chord. And um, so yeah, I think that that uh, we have everything, right? So, uh, any questions? Do you have questions? Let me know, leave a comment, and um, maybe, yeah, maybe we can talk about questions. We can, I can, um, I can answer a couple of questions if we, if you want me to. So, okay, let me go one more time from the very, very top. This is the A part and the B part, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, here is a question, sorry, let me read this. Uh, for the B has more bars than the A. Yes, this is a crooked, this is a crooked fiddle tune. The B part has 10 bars instead of eight. So let me show you the chord chart one more time. 
So you see the B part is a couple of bars longer and uh, so that makes the, the this fiddle tune unique just thanks to that and um, so okay from the very top one more time all together one two one two three four Yes, of course you 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 want to use these ideas whenever you you feel like it doesn't mean that every time you you play um, that G to E minor you have to play the F sharp or or every time you go from um, from G to let's say yeah from G to C you have to do so I'm just giving you some ideas that you can use in, in Cherokee Shuffle, of course, but you can also use whenever you want. And uh, just keep in mind that, uh, yes, when you have a G going to C, you have that, that little thing that you can play. And, um, and when you go from uh, and over the G chord, you have this idea, again, that is very, very common. And, um, and when you go from G to E minor, you have a couple of options. You, you can use the F sharp, or you can you can walk like this. All right, so that, that's all for today, and I hope you had fun with this. And again, uh, if you <coughs> subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell, so you'll be notified next time I upload a new video and uh, next time that I will go live. And uh, thank you everybody and uh, and take care I see you soon bye bye